Amen. Don't you love praising God's holy name? Oh, he is a good God. He has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. We're just so thankful to see all of you come today. This is our first Sunday. We've been blessed uh, with two great gospel speakers, and we thank God for them. Just being you today, we're going to get the, the young one first. <laughs> Everybody knows this young man. We're just, we just so thankful for you. He's already ready. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready to go. Let's give him a, just a hand clap. We're going to let him do this his own way. And after then, we're going to have Minister Anderson to come and continue to, to bless us. Amen. This is like any human's normal standards, like right here. This is where Jesus Lord is supposed to. Mm -hmm. you get a rock from saying, oh, he's God, we all have to bow to him. But instead. But I'll be going off of Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Amen. I'm going to start off with 1, with one two, three. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit of, of one mind, nothing out of selfish ambition yeah. or vain conceit, rather in humility, value others above yourselves. If you really did believe in the Lord, if you really are like, Believe for our brothers and sisters, you value, you value, you would value them above yourself. Because mm, yeah. Jesus did humble himself below normal standards. Yeah. To the point where like he was below like us. Yeah. Like our goal, the Bible says our goal is to strive to be like Jesus. If you want to strive to be like them, first we have to lower our standards. Because God can't work with you until you give them something to work with. Yeah. I like so, that. So, Four through six. It reads, but not looking to your own, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Jesus Christ. And being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God, was with God something to be used to his own advantage. I was saying, let others' interests be above yours. Let so like. Just like, let his interest be, be above yours in general, like, anywhere. Yeah. Like, even in conversations, like, because somebody else can initiate the conversation, walk up to you, and start talking about their interests, what they're doing. What about what you're doing? Because it's in the Bible, it says, have the mindset of Jesus. He first asks you, how are you feeling? What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Or, what, what are you doing tomorrow? Or, yeah. Like, how are you doing? Yeah. You got to know the world doesn't revolve around you. No. So you got to... It doesn't matter about me, you, anyone, but God. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. So let's stop thinking so much of ourselves and put other people first. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let's, Amen. let's think of other people above ourselves. Think, think of how Jesus thought. Jesus would have thought other people are above, and that's how he thought. Yes. That's why he died for all of us. He didn't have to do that. Mm. Amen. Talk, all right. Right. Yes, sir. Now we have... Even though he did it like any everybody right now for sinning and not listening to what he had to say. 
Because a lot of people hated Jesus. Like, I, like hate is a strong word, but they really did that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, first, with them, like, what do you think nowadays you like, oh, that's enough. Stop. No, they have to feel them too. Mm. But he still continued to love us, lower the standards over and over. He humbled us over. Yes. If we want to have the mindset of Jesus Christ, we have to humble our standards. We have to humble ourselves, think of other people's first. Yeah. And now I'm not left, it's like the best part. Therefore, God is God him to the highest place and gave him the name above. The name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, that, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. In heaven and on earth. In other words. Yes, sir. Every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Father. Yes, For lowering, this is kind of like reverse psychology. For lowering himself from God standard to service standard, he got the highest place. For lowering, oh, right. well, putting himself in the lowest, yeah. and valuing other more stuff. I'm not saying if you lower yourself, you'll become the highest thing. No, but God will reward you. Yeah. You yeah. have to give God something to work on. You have to humble yourself. Work on it from the actual work. Like but God will work on you while you work on others, while you help others. Let God work on you. I know a lot of us are stubborn, hard headed, including me. It's like, we can get told something and not want to do it, but I can do it later. Like, this morning I didn't want to get up. Like, not do it later. But if you think about it, you really like, think. Nobody wants to die. Jesus didn't want to die. He probably did not. He said, why do I have to do this? There's sin. We could just restart. Yeah. But no. Not because everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah. So, God, yeah. so Jesus is humbled himself for all of us. God will, God be, God crucified. Amen. Just for us to have a better life. So we should ask. We should all try and strive to be like Jesus. Strive to humble ourselves. Strive to. Yeah. Yeah. To put other people's first. Yeah. If you continue to think about it, imagine the world if everybody thought of other people first. If we weren't just always thinking about each other. Like, if you weren't always, oh, my value is more important than them, they don't really matter. You know how much better everything would be right now? I'm not saying there wouldn't be no bad thing, it would be a lot of, but it would be a lot better than it is. Yes, it is. It really would. Yes, sir. So we need to all humble ourselves, let God work on us. He won't work on us until we give him something to work with. So humble yourself. And that's all I have to say. Okay. 
And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of Baal. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then his miracles which are which our fathers told us of saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? Yes, but now the Lord has from forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Yes, and, the Lord, and the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thou might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? Yeah. And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, yeah. wherewith shall I save Israel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, yes, and I am least of the father's house. All right. Yeah. The angel came to Gideon and and sat with Gideon. All right. But notice what he said to Gideon. All right. Come on, preach. Thou mighty man of the Lord. Well, well, well. Before Gideon had done anything, Gideon had knocked down no walls. He had killed no lions. He had slain yeah. no giants. Yeah. yeah. But he called him a mighty man of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Who do you say? You are. Mm. Come on. See, a lot of us spend a lot of our lives trying to live down names yeah. that others have given us. A lot of us have, have have a lot of struggles on the inside yeah. Uh -huh. because of what somebody else called you. Yeah. Yeah. But God is asking me to ask you today, yeah. who do you say you are? Yeah. Who you say you are, it determines your destiny. Yeah. It determines how far you go in life. Your achievements, what you will accomplish. Yeah. That white picket fence around your beautiful house. It, it has everything to do with your life. Uh -huh. So I want to know who do you say you are. Uh -huh. yeah. But this also is true. What you have mm -hmm. is enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I want to deal with who do you say you are. Yeah. Because who you say you are means everything. Yeah. I like to live by what God said. Yes, who God said I am. God says that you are greatness. Yes, yeah. Greatness is in you. Greatness is in you. Yeah. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed, I knew you. Yeah. Who do you say you are? Yeah. Psalm says that your eyes saw me before I, while I was yet in my mother's womb. Yes. Yeah. Who do you say you are? On, because yeah. who you say you are yeah. determines whether or not you're going to get the job. All right. When I sat before the, uh, the, the supervisor, I know who I am. Yeah. I know what I can do. Yeah. I'm sure of myself. Yeah. I, I'm going to sell myself. Yeah. Why? Because I am so sure of myself. Because I'm going to tell him yeah. who I am. Yes, who do you say you yeah. are? Yeah. Who do you say you are means everything. Yes, sir. It means everything. Yeah. It means how high you hold your head. It means that 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 I don't need the suit to suit me. Yeah. And who do you say you are? Yeah. Who do you say you are? Is 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 is, is like it's like it's like putting the icing on the cake. Oh, who do you say you are? You got greatness living down inside of you. Yeah. Who do you say you are? You are a person that can change the world. Who says that one person can't change the world? Well, tell that to the people that have changed the world, yeah. like, a, like a Martin Luther King. Who do you 
say you are? Who do you say you are? Who do you say you are? You are somebody. You remember the remember that 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 that, that radio station that we used to listen to, and then after the end of the radio station, it says that KKDA. It says I am somebody. Somebody says that you gotta put your own horn sometime. Every now and then you gotta put your own horn. I am somebody. You're not just ordinary. God did not make any of us just ordinary. Why do you say that, Edwin? Because your fingerprints are not like my fingerprints. Your thoughts are not like my thoughts. Your walk is not like my walk. The way you look, you can never look like this. You can't duplicate it. God made sure. That's why the one he built I'm just, I, you know, I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing, Billy. Now, don't take this person. That's why the one he did your fan person like that. You the only one that could have done that. Who's good across a whole lot of rivers? 
was in Georgia. Was, yeah, I got a whole lot of victories because I'm victorious. That's who I am. You want to know who I am? I'm victorious. Notice that God talked to Gideon and he told Gideon that I want you to conquer the Midianites. Now Midianites, they were a large army. They were very large. And God had given uh, Israel over to the Midianites because of something they had done wrong. But God will always go back and bless you. God will always go back and bless you. He's given it to him, but then he said this. He says, I'm going to let you now overcome this, and you're going to be over the Midianites. Why would you do this, God? Because you're still my people. I don't care what they say about you. You're still my people. I don't care how far you go. You're still going to be my people. And so God told him that you mighty men of valor. Yeah. Valor. Yeah. Valor, yeah. valor, you mighty man of valor. Yeah. Before he had done anything, oh, yeah. Yeah. God called him who he was. Yeah. Yeah. So the scripture says this. He said, call that which is not if though it is. Right. Right. Let me say it again. Call that which is not if though it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah. I'm speaking it into an existence by faith. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying, Gilly? Yeah. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna conquer those to, those men. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat them up, yeah. kill them all. Yeah. Because God says that didn't I give you the power to do that? Yeah. So go do that. Let me talk to you for a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk to you for a minute. Everybody in here has a talent that God has given you. Everybody in here has a victory that God has given you. If I don't do it, I bet you I can reach out and touch it. I bet you that I can reach out and touch it. Because I, I know who I am. I don't count myself short. I don't count myself short. I have to stop because. 
boss, I say, God, unless you give me some more manageability, don't give me no more. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't hear that, did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you didn't hear that, did you? God, unless you give me some more manageability, don't give me anything else. Yeah. Because I'm way up here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? You are you are today. Because God has been good to you. Because God has been gracious to you. Because God has been kind to you. But you know who, you know more than that? You know who you are. You know who you are. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you this. What you have is enough. God came back and he talked to Gideon. And he told Gideon, Gideon had already gotten up his army. Uh -huh. He'd gotten up an army of 10,000. I'm getting ready now to go over there and I'm going to wipe everybody out. He'd gotten up an army of 10,000. But they were an army of 30 to 40,000 people. Gideon got up to, because Gideon figured out who he was in the Lord. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to take my 10 yeah. and I'm going to go over there and I'm going to wipe them out. Well, how you gonna do it, Gideon? Gideon says, I'm gonna do it by the, by the power of God. God came back to him and he said, Gideon, wait a minute. You got 10,000? Gideon, that's too many. I don't want you to take 10,000. Gideon looked at him and said, Lord, they are a massive army. I know you're trying to go to that big job. And I know you're trying to get to that big money. <laughs> And you talking about, God, how am I? Who, who am I up against AT&T? Yeah. God, who am I up against this big mass company? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm nobody up against Google. I'm nobody up against uh, uh, this massive company. I'm nobody. God says, you have what enough. What you have is enough. So God, what, what am I going to do? You just go in the name of the Lord. Because what I've given you is enough to do it. It's enough to take care of it. I've given you enough. Gideon, I tell you what I want you to do. I want you to lower your number down to 3,000. Gideon, lower this number down to 3,000. Well, I, I guess that I would question you, God. What do you mean just giving me 3,000 up against hundreds of thousands of people? How am I going to be... Up? How am I going to be victorious over hundreds of thousands of people in an army? God said, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Take the 3,000 down to the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you take them down to the water, I want you to yeah. choose the ones that I picked for. Yeah. Look at the ones that bow their head yeah. and lick the water like a dog. Yeah. They don't take their eyes off of those things yeah. that surround them. That's what the God tell you to watch and pray. That's why the God tell you to watch yeah. and pray. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to pray, but I'm going to watch also. Yeah. I'm going to watch my surrounding yeah. because God gives us that instinct to watch and pray. Yeah. And, 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 and God took him down to 300 men. Yeah. Why, God, would you do that? Yeah. Why would you just give that man 300 men to go to war? I don't care who left you. I don't care who abandoned you. I don't care who did not raise you. I don't care what your mama done or didn't do. I don't care what your dad done or didn't do. Whether he was there or not, God was there. I don't care yeah. how much it hurts you. Oh, I need it for you to feel so that I can come and heal. Yes, yeah. I don't care uh, that she, he left you and he took his bags and he left you. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. It's all right. But I had to strip you down to where you are so that I could use you. I had to make sure that you know that it was I, the Lord, that was on the side. Yeah. 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 I caused them to walk out of here. I let them walk. Yeah. I didn't let your daddy beat up the clothes. I didn't need your daddy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I didn't need your 
involved. Yeah, I let your mother be that kind of mother. Because I didn't need her. I needed you to know who you are. And not just who you are, who you are. And that's when I'm going to show up and be your God. So Gideon went down there and he conquered. And he didn't say, he didn't, he didn't leave nobody. So now you know who you are. Now you know after you've gotten of age. Now you know what you have is enough. Only thing you got is a handful of meal. That's enough. All I got is my knees and a stretched out arm trying to touch the hem of God's garment. That's enough. All I got, all I got is a hallelujah. That's all you need. That's enough. All I got is God help me. That's all you need. That's enough. That's enough. Because it's greater he that is in you than he that is in all the world.